Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. Well, it turned out to be a beautiful Monday across the area, and fortunately enough for us, this terrific weather is going to stick around through your evening hours. So maybe you're thinking about doing something outside. It will be very comfortable. Temperatures will slip from where they are right now in the low 70s for most of us down into the 60s by about 9 o'clock and then eventually into the low 60s, maybe even some upper 50s by the time you join us for News 5 at 11 o'clock. Here's a live look from high atop Karoo Tower. Plenty of blue sky out there. Still some lingering clouds, and we may keep a few clouds around as we go throughout the week. But all in all, we've got near perfect early fall weather. 72 degrees right now officially at the airport. The winds are calm, and you know what that means? With light winds again overnight tonight and just enough moisture in the air, we may find a few areas of valley or river fog to start your Tuesday. Not bad. Look at these numbers. In the low to mid 70s all across the Ohio Valley, some 60s across parts of the Great Great Lakes and then 80s down here to our south. And you know what? If you're a fan of warm fall weather, hang with me here for the next couple of minutes. By the time I get to the seven day, you'll have something to smile about because 80s are coming back into the forecast again. High pressures in charge of our weather, and this is actually going to provide us with more dry weather over the next couple of days. Again, aside from a little fog, maybe to start in the morning hours, a few passing clouds during the afternoon, there will be plenty of sunshine and dry weather to take us through much of this upcoming week. A matter of fact, look at future cast here. Very quiet. Again, you'll see a couple of white patches indicative of mainly just a few clouds scooting by. But other than that, it's going to be pretty quiet around here really through the end of the week and even into parts of the weekend. What's not quiet? The tropics tonight. We're dealing with a category four hurricane here. This is Matthew with winds of 140 miles an hour. And boy, you can certainly see the nice symmetrical shape to this. That's indicative of a very strong storm. Notice the cloud bands pretty much emanating out from that. Let's just know that the system is really breathing and has good, good upper air support. The concern here is, is that there's Jamaica just on the edge of your screen. Here's southern Cuba underneath some of the cloud cover and then the island of Hispaniola with the Dominican Republic East and Haiti there on the west side. Looks like the system is going to move very, very closely to the east of Jamaica. Fortunately, it does not look like Jamaica is going to take a direct hit from this. This is very good news. Unfortunately, though, it is bad news for the folks in Haiti and southern Cuba because either one of these island nations could end up with a direct hit from this system. Then the question becomes, where does Matthew go after it scoots its way through parts of the Caribbean? Right now, it looks like it's going to make a direct hit on the Bahamas here and then at some point parallel the east coast of Florida and then eventually turn its way off towards the north. The problem here in the forecast is just how far west does this thing jog? Because at some point it almost has to nick once it gets into this little cut here in the southeastern part of the United States. It's almost impossible for it not to at least touch someone on the east coast. The good news, though, it's going to be a much weaker system by then, probably a category one or two versus a four, but still a hurricane nonetheless. 53 for a low around here. It's going to be quiet again the next couple of days. Clear skies tonight. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and nice, very pleasant 77. Here's your day planner. 53 at 8 a.m., 70 by lunchtime, and then into the mid-70s during the afternoon. Here's your seven-day forecast. There's those 80s, I promise. There Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Right now, Mike, we might see a few showers in here late Friday night, early Saturday, but I don't see any heavy or significant rain here in the next five to seven days. All right, Kevin, thank you. And undiscussed.